every day it starts like this, so... <laughs> I am a PhD student at the Third Division, led by Ignacio Dirac, here at the MPQ. And yeah, I came here to do my PhD on tensor networks before I did my bachelor's in Barcelona, then my master's in London. And now, yeah, I'm very happy now to be two years into my PhD already here in Munich. So... This is the original first laser from Theodor Maimann. You can actually see like the glass tubes and the electronic components and even like the ruby cells. It's really, really cool. I'm Mohamed Tarek, uh, so I come from Indonesia and I'm currently doing my doctoral studies, my PhD in the laser spectroscopy division at the Max Planck Institute of Quantum Optics. Sometimes I come here and just like sit down there and find some new books about research. In my path, I was always unclear about what I wanted to do. I knew that I really loved solving problems. I really loved mathematics and also physics. But then for my PhD, I said, okay, I really want to explore more these quantum laws and quantum mechanics because there are so many counterintuitive things and the mathematical tools that you need to study them are, I find them very cool. There's around 44 labs uh, at MPQ, so they're all scattered around four hallways or so. So this hallway specifically, most of the experiments here are related to precision spectroscopy. Uh, let's say frequency combs, measurements of transitions very, very precisely. There's also labs that are dedicated for ultra-cold molecules, optical resonators, even attosecond physics also, like you can measure things really, really fast. I come from electrical engineering background. However, um, I've been wanting to do physics for a long time, so that's why I uh, started doing physics. I started my work here uh, as a master's student, and then now uh, I'm pretty much working, uh, let's say, in the same project. So here we have our theory seminar room. Um, and I mean, it's an important space for us because here it's usually more like specialized seminars in which we talk about the recent papers that came out during the last week or about some question that we are stuck with and we want to share to see if anyone has some idea. Here I will have our theory lunch where like whenever we need to have some discussion then we can come here and just talk a little bit. There's a lot of professors here that then you see and read their work and then you realize, okay, at some point they were here, no, like, and they were... So, a lot of people here that I admire a lot. So, yeah, I mean, it feels like a privilege not to be in a place where so many great people have been, so, yes. I knew that if I came here, I would be able to learn about many different stuff, even if it was not directly related to my project, so that I really liked. And then, of course, I also like the environment of MPQ. I mean, not only the theory division, but then you're also in the same place as all the other divisions that are doing very cool experiments. So here is pretty much where most of my life uh, is currently at nowadays. So this is my lab. Most of the stuff you see here, uh, it's real, uh, somewhat related to my project. Uh, we have uh, quite a lot of optics here, and we combine each and every of these optics uh, in such a way that we generate the kind of light that we want to do, and then we shine them on like special atoms or ions. As a PhD, uh, you're learning to do research independently. But of course, there's a lot of support. Like there's also support like from other like colleagues, like also other PhD students. We have really good advisors. We also have like the mechanical workshop and also the electrical engineers that creates all of these uh, crazy setups. They all really help into like doing research, especially for doing a PhD. And I think it's really it really helps me in the in the experiment.
It's also a nice thing to see that even if I am working at the theory division, then there's also the opportunity to just go to some lab and have a lecture and yeah, learn about what others are doing. Hi, Kevin. Hey, Marta, come Hi. In. All right. Okay. Hopefully it's not too uncomfortable. <laughs> so this is our experiment. Uh, basically, right below the, the glass cell, you have this white thing, which is the uh, objective uh, in the end. And through this objective, we, for example, image the atoms by collecting their fluorescence, or for example, um, we create the tweezers uh, in which we trap the individual atoms and like move them around uh, and so on. There's a lot of people graduating every year, or postdocs that get positions afterwards. So you really get a feeling of, um, okay, where can I go? You don't have this feeling of hierarchy. I mean, everyone listens to the ideas of others. No? So I really like that because it's like, okay, even if you are new into that, um, and you, of course, have a lot to learn, people value your, what you have to say, and they listen to what you have to say, and then provide valuable feedback. So, uh, this is my office. Most of the time I'm doing, well, administrative work or if I need to drive equations, let's say, or if I need to do simulations to just figure out what's happening, like whether the thing that I'm measuring in the lab makes sense or not. There are times when I pretty much uh, spend the whole day just looking by the window, thinking of what to do next, or like just giving, like thinking of ideas, and later in the day just discuss it with, let's say, my advisor, my supervisor, uh, to see what they think about it. All the divisions at MBQ, I mean, like they have really uh, good networks. I mean, they go all around the world, both in academia and in industry. Munich itself is uh, pretty much a hub regarding quantum technology. We're working with a lot of institutes around here and also a lot of companies in general. Uh, we're associated with the TU Munich and also the LMU Munich, uh, two universities in Germany that really has a reputation in the fields of like, quantum optics, quantum mechanics. There are always like many visitors, no? like here, for example, in the theory group, we sometimes even have like, I don't know, three visitors at the same time or things like this. Almost every week there's someone from somewhere, somewhere else that comes and tells, tells us about the research. We have like some, the MPQ colloquia, for example, where also external speakers come. And then you get to like travel to conferences, which are a very nice way to get an idea of what is happening. So something nice now about MPQ is that it's kind of in a quiet environment. So whenever you want also to think about some problem or just take a break, no, we can just go to the garden. In the end, like when you're doing your PhD, you know, you're thinking about all these difficult problems. So sometimes it, it can feel like you get stuck, but when changing environment or discussing the things with people or just getting a bit of nature, that helps. So. <laughs> There's a lot of workshops, let's say, I mean, like uh, regarding soft skills, how to manage projects, let's say, or mental health workshops and stuff like that. And they train you in all of these aspects beyond science that are so important and that if you want to continue, like even if it's the academic path or the industry path, they really have a lot of importance. I enjoy living in Munich because it's uh, it's a comfortable also city to live in, like, and you have these many nice places, no? like the English Garden, or you can go, I don't know, to yeah, other, other places in the city. I mean, I really like Munich. I mean, it's a really good city. Whenever you're tired or of pretty much anything, there's always the Alps uh, to the south. You can just simply take like a train from one to two hours to the, to the south, and you can even go skiing, let's say, or hiking in the summer. There's a lot of lakes around here. The culture is also really nice. You have people from pretty much all around the world working on like different fields and stuff like that. And um, at MPQ itself, I mean, like you have 44 nationalities. The next steps 
for me it's always a, it's a, it's always unclear like <laughs> I take my time to decide but what I know is that I am very happy to be doing like this journey because in the end like you're working on something that you really like doing this is something I, I've been really wanting to do like even as a child so continuing uh, working on ac academia continuing research especially fundamental research um, I think doing that for a lifetime is always interesting. I would say that MPQ is a very nice place to do it. I am very happy to have chosen this. It's a very nice opportunity to just learn about what's happening in these quantum uh, science uh, and quantum computing questions, let's say. Thank mm -hmm. you.